Disclaimer, before we start the video, this is a part two. If you haven't watched part one yet, the link will be in the pinned comment. What's up guys, this is Zendukaps, and today is part two of our series where we remake Zelda Tears of the Kingdom mechanics in Unity. This video, we will be making Ultra Hand. Starting off, I used my expert skills at 3D modeling to make an object to move. After struggling in Blender for literally 10 minutes to just make a cube, I folded and connected a circle and a capsule and made a knockoff stabilizer. Next, I programmed a little script so that if I pressed a key, it would pick up the stabilizer, and if I press it again, it would let it go. Next, I added functionality to the script so that, like in the game, you would be able to move the object further or closer to you depending on what you needed it to do. Next, I finally realized how ugly the seam was, so I completely redesigned it using Yugaroo, Yugara, yeah, Yugara's video, so go check him out. After making the terrain, I added some trees and grass, and now the environment actually looks pretty solid. Next, I found this boulder 3D model online, put it in the terrain, and now we have Ultra Hand working on the boulder. Okay, now we have Ultra Hand working on the... Okay, for real this time, we have Ultra Hand working on the boulder. Thank you guys for watching. These videos are so much fun to make. So if you enjoy the video, please subscribe and like because it really helps out the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.